In this video, let's take a look at adding a grid to a drawing. So I'm just going to move some of these uh, items over here a little bit. Let's move the legend over here. We get hold of this scale bar. Let's drag it down here. Uh, grids are smart drawing objects, so I can just say insert. Tell Traverse PC I want to put a grid in here. And then I basically tell Traverse PC how I want to draw it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I don't want a light gray because I want you to be able to see this a little bit better. So let's just use a gray color. I can put it on one of the layers in here. I'm going to put this one on the background layer. If I label the uh, axes, I can choose a font and a size, that sort of thing. Right now, I'm just going to label the left and the bottom. I can tell Traverse BC what kind of a line to use. And I might want to come in here and use some kind of a, a dashed line uh, just to make it a little more diminutive, uh, perhaps. And then I can specify an X value and Y value. And primarily, you're going to come in and say, what are my requirements? Well, the uh, city uh, wants to see a 50-foot grid on here. So they can just check some setbacks and um, some utility locations, perhaps, whatever that might be. And we're going to come back to this ad extends here in just a moment. So Traverse PC comes in and puts a, a grid on there for me and uh, labels that for me. Now, if I uh, want to move that so I can see things a little bit better, I can pick the whole survey up here. And as soon as I've got it up here where I want, it moves those uh, grid lines up. And then uh, if I uh, really wanted to kind of be a little bit fancier with this, I could clip this area to, to what I want. Uh, I also might come in and say, you know, with the grid on there, and particularly with a 50-foot interval, I probably should choose a scale of 50 feet Per inch and uh, that's going to make that grid just look a little bit nicer there now um, I've pretty much got what I want except I've got more grid extending up to the north of that property than I want I really could you know cut it off uh, here at this top line so let's put the cursor over any part of that grid right click and go to properties and here's that same information we had just a little bit but what I want to do is that I want to bring the top uh, down a little bit. This tells me if I add a value, it'll go uh, up if it's positive. So that assumes down if it's negative. And I'm just going to use the values here. So let's just take out a minus 50 here and uh, see what happens to that. Uh, that really looks really pretty nice, just like that. I might go ahead and tell Travis BC bring that title block down just a little bit. That'll allow me to move this over just a hair. And then move it just a little bit more. So I've got enough uh, room to label everything I want to have labeled. Um, I could also, if I wanted to, extend this value over to the left, just like I brought this top value down. So pretty flexible in, in how you do this. The grid, of course, is using the coordinate values of the survey. So these coordinates have to be right at 10,000, 10,000. In fact, that's how we started this survey. So I would expect 0.1 to be at 10,000, 10,000. Um, but certainly, if I used any other coordinate values, they would reflect on, on the grid here. Um, go ahead and play around with the line types, the uh, colors, the uh, labeling, and uh, I think you'll you'll find you can pretty quickly uh, get something that'll work for you with a with a smart drawing object grid.